Thank you. Dr. Ashwari, I have to say that was wonderful. And in addition, <laughs> uh, Dr. Martin is sitting here and we are chuckling over some things. But I'll, I'll start with a moment to say that growing up, my sister and I were always very skinny. Now, my, my father, my parents were immigrants from Eastern Europe, and we used to hear, you look like you survived the camps. You need to eat more. And so, oh, the things that, that my mother made us drink and eat, um, milkshakes with raw egg and oh, all kinds of horrible things to fatten us up and nothing worked. And now we laugh, my parents are both gone, but my sister always says, oh, if they could see us now, they'd be so happy because we've put on many, many pounds since then. And now of course the pounds don't go away. So uh, somewhere in between, there must've been a day or two where I was satisfied with my shape, but uh, that's, that's in the past. So, And I do have to say that we in the U.S. Are, are currently recovering from a president who did his best to normalize only white men and anything that anybody else said or did was in, insignificant. So indeed, he set us back several generations and we are trying to get our voices heard again. I'd be surprised if there's any woman on here or elsewhere that hasn't experienced at least some of what you've discussed. And thanks to our cultural mores and religious doctrine and everything else, um, this is considered the norm, which is probably why many women, if not most, don't even recognize it. And I think that is also part of the problem. Uh, in education, I've noticed in the healthcare field, certainly, we do talk about recognizing physical abuse. And, but uh, emotional abuse is barely given a thought because it is so common. And again, it gets back to not normalizing it, but bringing it out into the open. The steps that you mentioned, um, perfect. And I think for most people, it is still we're in the awareness stage to see what, you know, to awaken women to not just women, but all of us to what is going on and how we can um, change things. The Constitution for the Federation of Earth, which of course I have to mention because that's what brings me here, um, does have a, an amendment, I guess, not an amendment, a, um, an article, an article um, which states in the Bill of Rights, um, equal rights for all citizens with no discrimination on the grounds of race, color, caste, nationality, sex, which nowadays we would say gender, religion, political affiliation, property, or social status. It's a great sentence. But as when one reads the documents from the United Nations, where um, they first recognized in 1947 that yes, there's a problem. Women are behind, we've got to do something about it. 20 years worth of commissions affirmed that we need to do something about it. And here we are, what, another 40 years later, and we need to do something about it. So perhaps the United Nations isn't going to help all that much. And unfortunately, as we're seeing with the war, um, it's not helping in many ways. There is a World Legislative Act attached to the Constitution, Act Number 68, a statue on the rights of women. And there's nothing here that will surprise anybody. 
whereas the Constitution for the Federation of Earth was designed to protect the inalienable rights of all people, promote unity and diversity, and achieve gender equality, and whereas women remain in a state of second-class citizenship in much of the world, and for that I'd have to say I think all of the world, despite progress made in some democratic nations on the issue of gender equality, and whereas the inherent dignity innate rights, personal sovereignty, and physical safety of women and girls has yet to be attained in many nations. Um, it ends with the, whereas the rights of women are key to establishing universal human rights. And this act delineates all the things we must do. And I don't think that anybody here would be surprised by what those delineations are. And I will be happy to share it. I'm not going to read the whole thing because it goes on for many pages. But I really want to thank you, Dr. Ashwari, for bringing this up in such an easy to follow, understandable, pleasant discussion that I think covered, covered all these points so well. Thank you.